mama, nigga. If I catch y'all niggas off bound, nigga, I'm beating the shit out of both of you niggas, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I'ma choke blood up both of you niggas' throat, nigga. Nigga, on my mama, I wasn't stealing, nigga. That's how dumb they sound, because they caught my mans with a thing of E and J, nigga. The fuck, nigga? Man, stop playing on me, ball. Bro, you want scrap? Do you want scrap? Do you want me to turn my live on the other camera so we can box? And I'm going to beat the shit out of you with 140 views on my shit, nigga? Because my shit busting, nigga. Look at you. I'll smack that scanner out your hand, nigga, and break your teeth with that bitch, nigga. I'll fire on your ass right now, nigga. What you flinching for? Scary ass, nigga. Scary ass, nigga. Look at him. Bro, AJ, I'll fire on this nigga right now, bro. Don't. Look at him. Hey, let me get your badge number. No, let me get that badge number. No, you you gonna have to tase me like I told your mans. Like I told your mans, you gonna have to tase me. Okay? You gonna have to tase me. You gonna have to tase me. I'll smack all you niggas and choke blood up all y'all niggas' throats, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. I'm on tip, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. First and foremost, I want to start by giving up the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the old like tabernacle of David, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Yeah, we at the end. Now, this little nicklet here, he couldn't have been no older than 11 years old. And uh, the whole entire time, he's just running his mouth, um, you know, cursing like a sailor, you know, out of control. And that goes back to home training, of course. You know, he didn't have, he definitely doesn't have a father figure at home. You know, nobody to, uh, you know, teach him, you know, discipline and, uh, you know, manners, you know, just, uh, you know, Tr just, just a, just a troubled kid, man. And uh, the only thing you see for his future is, you know, either the, either death or the cage, <laughs> one or the other. You know, just imagine him at seventeen, out of control. And this is what happens when. You know, a child is left to himself. They become this way. All right. And, and, and the, the streets, you know, ends up raising them. All right. They get influenced by what they see. And, you know, mainly what, what is little Jake's like this seeing? They seeing these rappers, these demonic ass rappers and the amount of shit that they talk on in these records. 
-hmm. And I see him, you know, toting guns in the music videos. You know, Jake trying to act hard, trying to prove they self. You know, this is this is terrible, man. And people, as you can see, <laughs> that was re replying to this, they all found it funny. Like it was just comical. This really wasn't funny. All right. Because uh, he's not even older than 11 years old, I don't think. So just imagine that generation. Let me get this real quick. This is Ciroc 30. And I'm gonna read the first couple of verses. I'm gonna and I'm gonna jump down. It says, He that loveth his son calls of him often to fill the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. And this is uh, apparent that he doesn't have that at home. Now, more than likely, you know, he has a, a ratchet ass mom, of course. You know, that's very negligent. You know, she doesn't have any time to raise him. You know, she's caught up in her own, you know, pleasure. You know, probably uh, procreated with a, 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 a Pookie, a Ray Ray, a Tyrone. Nigga probably locked up, probably has the same, you know, attitude and behavior. And that uh, that impressed his mother. <laughs> she was attracted to that. Ended up having this nigga baby and this little nigglet here, he's the product. Typical, man. And you wonder why these other nations look at Jake the way they do. With no respect You know they gotta be thinking in their head Oh they mama man Oh my goodness His his mother She did a horrible job The police could have put his little ass down But they was real patient with the little, little demon But it would have been their fault If they did their her, His parents job Whooped his little ass he that chastise of his son shall have joy in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. And this ain't nothing to rejoice over. That means you did a horrible job. All right? Getting in all these grown men faces, acting like he can whoop any of them. This is horrible, man. This is, this is a damn shame, an embarrassment. Especially to the parents who raised him. Probably get left upon left on the grand the grandmother. Cause, you know, she the mom too busy at the club or, or, or taking back shots from some uh from, from from the weed, the weed uh connect. The nigga that's supplying her with, with you know her little fix. So she leave this little dude in the corner and he <clears throat> you know listening to the ratchet music she playing. You know, then you go into school with other jakes that's, you know, coming up in the same upbringing. So these little these little dudes is out of control, man. So let me jump down to uh, verse eight. And it says, a horse not broken become of head strong and a child left to himself will be willful. So he becomes, uh, you know, self-willed. He becomes stubborn. You can't even tell him anything. You know, he, he he probably talks like this at his mother. And she will cuss him, you know, back out like he's her baby daddy instead of her little son. You know, I, I, I've seen stuff like that, man. Now, we know in the law... You know, what will alleviate our nation <laughs> of this of this type of uh, behavior and, and, and these type of children rolling around? Let's go to the law. Now, obviously, this can't we this can't be applied in this society. <clears throat> or you'll be uh, locked away in, in, in jail. Uh, Deuteronomy 21 and 18, it says, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, who will not obey the voice of his father or voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them. 
Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. Yeah, he, he, he won't do what he's told. You know, he just want to sit down, sit around and not do anything productive. He doesn't want to learn a skill or anything so that he can, uh, uh, you know, earn a living for himself when he gets on his own, when he gets, when he come, becomes of age. He doesn't want to sit around and eat and be gluttonous, you know, and, and talk back. Even when we discipline him, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. So what do you do with a child like that? And he's a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he died. That's the law. That's the, the response to that. All right? And you, know, you got uh, emotional Israelites that's, that gets enraged when we read other certain other laws. But they don't get enraged when this, <laughs> when this law is right here. They don't get as emotional with this law. You know, but uh, there was a reason why, you know, this 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 judgment was a part of our law. It's so that that behavior don't spread. All right, these little children, they'd be in fear and they'd be in order. If they knew what would come to them if they behaved in this manner. Same thing with these women in the society that's not afraid to step out on their men. Because the law of slack and judgment don't go forth. So the behavior, you know, you you give them an inch, they're going to go a mile. So adultery is rampant because judgment is never applied. Because this man, the man that's over us, the ruler, he's a, he's a damn demon. It says, so shalt thou put away evil from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. So that will alleviate a lot of these problems. But right now, you know, we, we living in this generation, man. You know, very wicked. You know, they, they have no respect, you know, for, for their elders. All right. And this is why, you know, eventually the Lord is going to get to them. All right. Like it tells you in Ezekiel, which this happens in the past. But, you know, we know that that which have been is that which shall be. You know, it's going to happen again where, you know, during the time of Jacob's trouble, a lot of Jacob is going to be dying out in these streets. And the Lord's going to allow it to happen because he's not he's not pleased with them. Ezekiel 9. <clears throat> in verse two, it says, and behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which live toward the north and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen with their writer's inkhorn by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the Most High Power of Israel was going up from the cherubs. So these were angels that were sent down on, on a mission. All right, it says, Whereupon he was to the threshold of the house, and he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. All right, and we're, we, you know, we're the people of that city. So go through these people, right, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's going to, in this society, that's going to be the men who are taking a stand against all this wickedness, man, all this disorder that's in the world. Anything that opposes itself or go against the righteousness in the in, in the order of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, we're taking a stand against, we're calling it out without fear and and and, and not even caring, you know, you know what they do. We know we're gonna be persecuted, but the Lord, you know, He's watching us, man. All this out of order behavior from the men to the women to the to the children. It says, and to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after through the city. So after you put that, that spiritual mark on these men, that's going to represent 
the men who the Lord's going to have mercy on. He's not going to destroy them. He's going to spare them. So they're going to be left safe with the rest of our people. He said, go you after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So what is it? What, what, when it says smite, what is he saying here? The Hebrew word is naka. And it says to strike, smite, hit, beat, slay, kill. To smite, kill, slay a man or a beast. To smite, attack. And destroy, conquer, subjugate, ravish. To smite, chastise, send judgment upon. Punish, destroy. So we know what this is talking about. And the Lord can smite you different ways. Plagues, disease. All right. Famine. He can smite you with all that. Or just, he can smite you with the sword. It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. All right. So this little demon right here, he'd be a part of that. They slay, the angel will slay him and have no pity, won't feel nothing for it. Look at his behavior. Look how he's talking to people. You know? Just, just, just imagine him in, 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 in a place, you know, where he, he's, he, you know, this is, he's normal, this is normal behavior for him. You know, imagine his, his mother around and she got the camera out and she looking at him talking shit and she laughing, thinking that it's cute, showing her friends, her friends laughing. You know? Then he impressing the little girls, the little girls think it's, it's, it's cute. Then they re repeat the process. Another Tyrone product uh, made. Another Ray Ray Pookie made. So to eliminate that problem, this is what will have to be done. All right. I got to Jay got to go. Two thirds of them, they got to be cut off. It says slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. So definitely you women. Spirit been getting on the women again as of late because they're out of order. It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. So, all these little dudes, they, 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 they're not going to make it. All right, so going back here, it says, uh, verse 9, Sirach 30 and 9, it says, Conquer thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with them, and he will bring thee to heaviness. You know, and that's what Jake do. They'll treat their they son like they they uh, little friend or they little homie. No, man. Your children are supposed to fear you. They're supposed to reverence you. They're supposed to honor you. But they ain't going to uh, feel that they have to honor or respect you when you're not disciplining them. All right? You, you don't handle them with kid gloves. Especially Jake. You don't, you don't joke around. You don't play with them. That's why you had fathers, man. It says, laugh not with them, lest thou have sorrow with them, and lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not at his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young. And that's what these young Jakes, these young parents, what they, that's what they do. They let them do whatever the hell they want, because, you know, they don't have any, um, you know, they feel like they don't be having time. There's other things that they want to get into, you know, to take up their time than to actually raise their, their, their children. So they just, you know, give them liberty. And, 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 you know, when they do something stupid, they think it's cute. They wink at it. You know, give them a bunch of passes. Just bow down his neck while he is young and beat him on the sides while he is a child. Like that little niggly, he need his ass whooped. Lest he wax stubborn 
and be disobedient unto thee and so bring sorrow to thine heart. Yeah, and, and especially if he, he gets older and, you know, you can't threaten him. He's bigger and stronger now. You can't do nothing. You know? Too late. You try to, you know, swing at him or you uh, uh, swing a belt at him, he's going to catch it with his hand. And, you know, he, this uh, behavior that he displayed here made me think that he'd probably swing on his mama. He probably put hands on his on his mother, especially if he, you know, give him a few years. And that's if this little nigga is, is, is even still around. You know, you put him on a, a, a show like Scared Straight, you know, it, it, it'll be a temporary fix. But he'll go right back to his ways because, you know, he's not afraid of his mother and his father is probably not around. It's crazy, man. <clears throat> and that's why the scripture also say here, don't desire a multitude of uh, ungodly sons. Was it Sarah? Was it sixteen? Yeah, Sarah sixteen, and one it says, "Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons, though they multiply." And you have women that'll reward that behavior, you know, because that behavior reminds them of they uh, the things that attracted them to they they thugged out daddy. They'll this little nigga. He'll get all kind of. Uh, Jordans, you know, video games, they'll reward him. And he's a straight up little nigga in the making. You don't delight in that. It says, though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. Trust not, trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand. And better is to die without children and to have them that are ungodly. For by one that have understanding shall the city be replenished, but the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. So, yeah, man. And, and this is why you don't, you know, I could tell you here, Sirach 17 in uh, 16, it says, Every man from his youth is given to evil. Neither could they make to themselves fleshly hearts for a stony. That's why you got to whoop their ass, man. You know? You got to, you got to, you got to, you know, get you get that rod on them. And, 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 and beat it away from them. But that's how they're going to end up. But Eve, she's a horrible parent. You you could just tell, man. You You know off the rip. Cause, cause sons with with actual fathers in their life, they are not behaving this way. They know what's gonna come for them. So, you know, but he might be dealing with you know trauma at home. His mother gets on him and talk to him the same way. So he takes out he takes out his anger on on others. But these behavioral patterns, man, is, is, is just another sign. We got to get the hell up out of here, man. So, <clears throat> yeah, man, this was this was embarrassing, you know, and, and this is why these nations don't respect us. But, uh, you know, eventually, you know, all this is going to pass away. And in the kingdom of heaven, you know, our children are going to be in their right mind. They're going to. They're going to have that uh, fleshly heart instead of that stony heart. You know, they're going to be taught. They're going to be under under uh, tutorage. All right. They're going to, you know, fear their, you know, they're going to uh, honor their, their father and their mother. And on this side, it's, it's horrible, man. We got to get the hell up out of here. But anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Shalom.